how a sound made. Sound is made when an object vibrates. Good. When I put my fingers on my throat, I feel the vibration when I talk. When I make a tuning fork vibrate, it makes a sound. Oh, it tickles. It buzzes. That vibrations. What is sound? When you make a sound, it makes vibrations. Sound has power. <coughs> Watch what happens to the rice when I bang my spoon onto the container. The vibrations are going to travel through the air and vibrate our rice. When I yell ne next to the hundreds and thousands. Uh... Sound energy or vibrations can move water. Watch this. The tuning fork is vibrating. The vibrations are making the water splash. This is sound energy. These experiments show that sound is energy. Sound can move objects. Sound moves the air around us. How does sound travel? Let's look at this guitar. When you strum a guitar string, it vibrates. A sound is made by the vibrations. The vibrations move the air particles around it. The air particles bump into more air particles, making sound waves that carry the sound to your ear. And that's how sound travels. How do we hear sounds? What is this? This is a model of what's inside of our ear. What's the parts? This is an eardrum, this is a bone, and this is a stereo. And this is a cochlea with liquid inside. Demos. The big idea today is that sound waves make our ear work. Now I can't show you inside my ear, so I have a, I have a diagram and I have even cooler, a demonstration. So take a look. We have our ear, sound waves travel into our ear, and they hit our eardrum. Take a look at our eardrum. This stretched film is our eardrum. And then behind the eardrum, we have some bones that touch some liquid in our ear. This is our bone set up, and here we have a little bowl of liquid. So how does the ear work? Well, we need some sound waves. I'm gonna make some noise by clapping. The sound waves move our eardrum, which moves the bones, and the bones moves the liquid, and the liquid sends a message to our brain. It sounds complicated, but watch it work. So watch what happens when I send sound waves into my ear by clapping. Watch what happens to the eardrum and the bone and the water, the liquid. The bones are making the water move. The water sends messages to our brain, and we have sound. Look at the bottles. These bottles have different amount of water. Watch what happens when we bang them. What happened, you see? The bottle with the, with the least water had the higher pitch. The bottle with the most water had the lower pitch. Why did that happen? Cause, because there's more room in this bottle for the particles to move around. That's why it has a higher pitch and there's only a little bit of room for the particles to move around in this bottle. So that's why it has the lower pitch. Learning about sound has been fun. I hope you enjoyed our video.